Hi, I'm Mike Davis, Recovering Vegetarian. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps that we're going to be using in our specific heat lab. And the basic premise of this lab is we're going to heat up some metal and then we're going to put it into some water that is much cooler than the metal. We're going to see how much heat is transferred between the two and see if we can use that information to determine the specific heat of the metal and we'll compare that to the literature value. So it should be a lot of fun. We start by getting some metal and determining its mass. So here I've got a beaker, I'll put it on the scale and zero it. This is copper. I want to add about 50 grams. I can add a little more or a little less. So long as I write down the number, in this case 47.52, that's what's important. This metal will get placed into this test tube very carefully. You don't want to lose any. There we go. We pour it into this test tube. Make sure it's all there. And then this test tube gets placed into this beaker of boiling water for at least 10 minutes. We want to make sure that the copper inside there and the boiling water are at about the, sa are at about the same temperature. Next, we assemble the calorimeter by putting a small styrofoam cup inside a big one. That's it. We'll put that on the scale, zero it, and then we'll add 50 milliliters of water to it and get the mass. It's the mass of water that's important, not the volume. After 10 minutes have passed, you take the copper out of the boiling water and we pour it directly into our cool water, put a lid on, insert the temperature probe, and give it a little stir. We're watching for the temperature where this levels off. Once you've seen the temperature level off, the experiment's done. So we can remove the thermometer, we can dump out the water, and you can return the metal. So all of this can be used again on the next trial when you're doing it with lead. One other note, the thermometers are digital, so I'm going to be showing you how to use those in class. So, the experiment's relatively straightforward. We should get a great result. I'll look forward to seeing you in class. With your lab notebook, safety glasses, and a calculator.